Beta-histine, sold under the brand name Circ among others, is an anti-vertigo medication. It is commonly prescribed for balance disorders or to alleviate vertigo symptoms associated with Menier's disease. It was first registered in Europe in 1970 for the treatment of Menier's disease. Medical uses Beta-histine is used in the treatment of Menier's disease and vertigo. The supporting evidence for the efficacy of beta-histine for Menier's disease is of poor quality. A 2011 Cochrane review of seven trials consisting of 243 patients with Menier's disease concluded that there was insufficient evidence for any beneficial effect of beta-histine on symptoms. Most of the trials found a reduction in symptoms of vertigo and to a lesser extent tinnitus, but these effects may have been due to bias in study methodology. Contraindications Beta-histine is contraindicated for patients with pheochromocytoma. Patients with bronchial asthma or a history of peptic ulcer need to be closely monitored. Side effects Patients taking beta-histine may experience following side effects Headache Low level of gastric side effects Nausea can be a side effect, but the patient is generally already experiencing nausea due to the vertigo so it goes largely unnoticed. Patients taking beta-histine may experience several hypersensitivity and allergic reactions. In the November 2006 issue of Drug safety. Dr. Sabine Jack Thole and Dr. Wolfgang Wagner reported that beta-histine may cause several allergic and skin-related side effects. These include rash in several areas of the body, itching in hives, and swelling of the face, tongue and mouth. Other hypersensitivity reactions reported include tingling, numbness, burning sensations, shortness of breath and labored breathing. The study authors suggest that hypersensitivity reactions may be a direct result of beta-histine's role in increasing histamine levels throughout the body. Hypersensitivity reactions quickly subside after beta-histine has been discontinued. Digestive Beta-histine may also cause several digestive-related side effects. The package insert for CERC, a trade name for beta-histine, states that patients may experience several gastrointestinal side effects. These may include nausea, upset stomach, vomiting, diarrhea and stomach cramping. These symptoms are usually not serious and subside between doses. Patients experiencing chronic digestive problems may lower their dose to the minimum effective range and by taking beta-histine with meals. Additional digestive problems may require that patients consult their physician in order to find a possible suitable alternative. Others People taking beta-histine may experience several other side effects ranging from mild to serious. The package insert for CERC states that patients may experience nervous system side effects, including headache. Some nervous system events may also partly be attributable to the underlying condition rather than the medication used to treat it. The study by Jack Thole and Wagner also reports that patients may experience headache and liver problems, including increased liver enzymes and bile flow disturbances. Any side effects that persist or outweigh the relief of symptoms of the original condition may warrant that the patient consult their physician to adjust or change the medication. Pharmacology. Pharmacodynamics Beta-histine is a strong antagonist of the histamine H3 receptor and a weak agonist of the histamine H1 receptor. Beta-histine has two mechanisms of action. Primarily, it is a full agonist on the H1 receptors located on blood vessels in the inner ear. This gives rise to local vasodilation and increased permeability, which helps to reverse the underlying problem of endolymphatic hydrops. More importantly, beta-histine has a powerful antagonistic effects at H3 receptors, thereby increasing the levels of neurotransmitters histamine, acetylcholine, norepinephrine, serotonin, and GABA released from the nerve endings. The increased amounts of histamine released from histaminergic nerve endings can stimulate receptors. This stimulation explains the potent vasodilatory effects of beta-histine in the inner ear, that are well documented. 
Beta histine seems to dilate the blood vessels within the inner ear which can relieve pressure from excess fluid and act on the smooth muscle. It is postulated that beta histine's increase in the level of serotonin in the brainstem inhibits the activity of vestibular nuclei. Pharmacokinetics Beta histine comes in both a tablet form as well as an oral solution, and is taken orally. It is rapidly and completely absorbed. The mean plasma elimination half life is 3 to 4 hours, and excretion is virtually complete in the urine within 24 hours. Plasma protein binding is very low. Beta histine is transformed into aminoethylpyridine and hydroxyethylpyridine and excreted with the urine as pyridylacetic acid. There is some evidence that one of these metabolites, aminoethylpyridine, may be active and exert effects similar to those of beta histine on ampullar receptors. Chemistry Beta histine chemically is 2,2-methylamino, ethyl, pyridine, and is formulated as the dihydrochloride salt. Its chemical structure closely resembles those of phenethylamine and histamine. Society and culture Brand names Beta histine is marketed under a number of brand names, including Besserk, Cirk, Heiserk, Betacirc, Solve, and Virgo. Availability Beta histine is widely used and available in Europe, including in the United Kingdom. It was approved by the Food and Drug Administration in the early 1970s for Meniere's disease, but approval was later withdrawn for lack of evidence of efficacy. The withdrawal was upheld by a U.S. Court of Appeals in 1968. References